today I would like to do a bit of an unboxing. I had my new carry-on suitcase delivered and I'm so excited. Previously I've been a bit of a bag lady. Uh, when I travel carry-on only, I will travel with my e-bags, mother load, and it's just a little awkward trying to carry this on my back and a day bag on my front. It just gets heavy. I feel like my back's gonna break, so it was time for something new. When I was deciding on a new suitcase, there was a couple of things I really wanted in the suitcase, some features I was really looking for. I really wanted a hard shell exterior, the 360 degree spinning wheels. I wanted it to be expandable, so have just a little bit of extra room. And I also wanted it to have a TSA approved lock built into it. And when I was researching new suitcases, I didn't realize how much of an ask all of those things were. However, I did find it and I ended up going with the bigger carry-on flex by Away. It was a little bit pricier than I really wanted to spend on a new suitcase, especially a carry-on. However, I was desperate. I did not want to take my e-bag to Ecuador and I needed something quick because I leave in two weeks. So let's unbox it because I'm very excited about this. Ooh. Let's see if we can do this without getting hurt. First things first is it does come with a leather luggage tag, which is a nice little touch. And then inside the box. I did this wrong. I did this wrong. That's what we were saying. But it's fine. Okay. Here it is in all its glory. I will um, give you a little bit of a better view of all the features, but I'm very excited about this. So let's take a deeper look. Okay. So the first feature on this I'm going to show you is the TSA approved lock. So it does have both built in and then you push this over and it unlocks. I personally hate having to carry a lock with me because I feel like I always lose it. So I like having it built in. The next feature that I was really looking for was the expandable zipper. I have already unzipped it just because it's a little awkward to film unzipping it, but it gives you a pretty significant bit of extra room. So that to me is a very important feature to have, especially if you're traveling just out of a carry-on. One additional feature that is actually a major bonus is this additional handle um, at the bottom of the bag that just makes it so much easier for you to be able to lift it up and put it in the overhead bins on an airplane. This wasn't something I was specifically looking for, but it's a great addition to the bag and I'm really glad it's there. This is the inside of the bag. Another extra feature that I wasn't looking for was this compression side. So you unclip it on both of these and then you put your clothes in there. And then after you're all packed, close this back up and then buckle it. And you can pull the straps to give you more of that compression side. And then this is your basic um, not a whole lot super special on this side, just your normal suitcase. It also comes with, in here is a hidden laundry bag. Again, just an extra feature that is really just an added bonus. So that's the inside look. 
Let me just show you this side in case you're curious. Like I said, there's not a whole lot on this. It's your basic suitcase. Um, but, yes, very happy with the inside. I think it's functional. I'm happy with the compression side. It's definitely an added feature. This comes with it. It is a sponge, essentially, to clean your suitcase if you get any scuffs or anything while traveling, which we all know will happen. Um, so honestly, just a bunch of really nice added touches to this that I wasn't expecting. Logistically, their website says that this is meant for a four to seven day trip and can hold between six and 10 outfits. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna see if I can get a whole 11 day trip in there because I would really like to pack carry on only for Ecuador. But overall, I'm very happy with this purchase. I didn't know that I could be this happy about a suitcase, but here we are. So I will link it below just in case you're also in looking for a new suitcase. Um, would not recommend something I didn't personally like. So if you're in the market for a new suitcase, I think this is a solid choice. Overall, just some of the aspects listed on the website for the suitcase. It's meant for a four to seven day trip <laughs> and um, it holds between six and 10 outfits. So I am going to do my best to pack my 11 day trip with EF Ultimate Break to Ecuador and the Galapagos Islands in here. Essentially, I'm not gonna be able to overpack, but I think this is a great choice. I'm really excited about this purchase. Um, even though the cost was more than I wanted to spend, I think this will last me for many, many trips to come. So I'm very excited about this. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and some of the details about the suitcase in case you're in the market for a new one. No, it's not sponsored by way or anything. This is genuinely just me being excited about a suitcase. Um, I guess that's just the part of me being travel obsessed. So there you have it.